Hey fellow crafters, my name is Kenya and welcome to Eclectic Crafting. Today I'm going to show you how to create two cool and very unique necklace pendants with the help of UV epoxy resin. Now epoxy resins are essentially like liquid synthetic plastics that cure or harden with time under the sun or with the help of a UV light like what we have here today. We're going to create some pretty neat things, so let's dive in. We're going to utilize pigment powders, silicone molds, a bezel, glue, jump rings, dry paint brush, toothpicks, UV resin, acrylic paint, a mask because epoxy resins do have fumes, our UV dryer, gloves, flat back gems, and our safety goggles. We'll start by adding some resin to our first mold and a dab of acrylic paint gently stirred around to keep a wispy appearance. In the second project, we'll completely mix in the dab of paint and remove any excess resin off the mold to create negative space. Cure from four to six minutes back and front sides. Perfect, a successful cured layer. Let's utilize our dry paint brush to apply pigment powder to create a simple colored background. After the pigment application, we'll add another layer or two of resin and let that cure for at least 10 minutes. If you want your piece to fully cure, refrain from combining too much pigment and resin so the light can penetrate the product properly. Less is more when it comes to coloring. Here's our finished product with the neat little spots of negative space. Before we turn these gems to jewelry, let's soften any rough edges with sandpaper and water. I'll also go ahead and add a gemstone to the blue pendant to conceal the pre-made hole and add another top layer to our orange pendant to complete that second project. After another six to eight minutes in the UV dryer, we're good to go. Now. The piece doesn't completely fit the bezel, so I'll utilize some glue to adhere it to the top and then pour in some resin and a dash of pigment coloring at the bottom opening of the bezel to tie everything in. Let that cure for six to 10 minutes. Apply the jump ring onto our orange pendant and ta-da! We've made some really unique pieces to add to our collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching the process as much as I enjoyed making the magic. This was pretty awesome. Don't they look awesome? Thank you guys so much for coming to craft with me. And remember, keep calm and craft on. Until next time.